All right, so in front of me, I wanted to make a video for this. Like, I just figured why not, you know? I'm already here. So I got the stock throttle body from a Type S. I don't think it matter if it's a 02 to 06, whatever it is. And then I just got one from K-Toon, a K-Series throttle body. I've never tried this one before. It's the cast one. It's a little beat up. I did buy it secondhand, but I got a really good deal for this with the cold air intake and um, it just, it worked out, you know? So I went ahead already. I removed these two fittings from the bottom. I'm pretty sure the kit must have included this, this, and probably this front one, but he did send this. He left it inside there. So we might just install this here uh, with some Teflon tape and then plug it. This also came apart. So this little um, throttle cable bracket. So we went ahead and installed that. That's pretty simple. I don't have to get into that. He did have an OEM TPS on here. This same exact one over here. If you guys don't know, most of the time, probably like 99% of the time, this is no good when you put it on here. Like you can try it out and see if it works, but 99% of the time, I've never heard anyone being able to use it successfully. So I went ahead and got this one. It's a Hall Effect TPS um, from Acuity or Acuity. I always have a hard time saying it. Um, so part number 1879, I guess. That's their part number. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So the two screws are here, some decals. That's that. It's the same as here, but um, honestly, I don't think Honda wants you to be taking these off. So maybe that's why they don't work. I don't know. Um, this will just go on there. You guys see like the groove in there. That'll go on there. And then you just wind it back like that and then just land your screws in there. So we'll probably just go ahead and do that now. Uh, one more thing before I install this show you guys how much of an effect um, a TPS has on your like throttle response and all that stuff. Um, when you open and close this, you guys see that? That's the groove or this is the notch right here that goes into your TPS on the inside. So if this is no good or that's stuck or this has some play in there or if it's not like perfect, um, you know, you will have issues. It also has a rubber grommet on the inside, which is really good idea by them because this one seems to have like a paper one and i'm pretty sure these go bad eventually and maybe that's why tps's go bad or your throttle response and all that stuff so um that was good by them and um this is actually the one i'm running on my rsx been three years zero issues at all guys on the rsx actually when i tried using this one that's how i found out that you needed a new tps when i tried using that um i had a lot of issues like it was laggy i don't know it just wasn't acting right the car as soon as i replaced this like everything changed like the car was just a lot more healthier it was running good it made a big difference so i'm gonna go ahead and install that all right so that's how it should be looking uh, when it's installed make sure you know it's nice and flush on the side and it should be good i would still recommend getting it to the specs that they call for on the um their instructions online and um and then also do it on k pro and then k tuner whatever you have for um you know for your honda whatever so moving on i'm gonna be running the people call it the iac i think it's really called the um like iacv thing um basically it's this thing on the bottom it's made by dunzo um this is the opening i was talking about on this one that we have to like cap off so basically we'll just throw a rubber cap on here um so i guess let's do that right now let's add this here um basically this fitting right here add that there real quick so that's all set so moving on we got that done we got to get these two screws off this one and this one i didn't feel like driving over to the garage so i bought another one of these impact screwdriver sets so we got the throw that on here all right so i just got it off um be super careful with these because they are super expensive and they're really hard to find now for a good price them off. all right and this has never been removed guys this is from an o2 rsx so this thing is 18 years old already we probably need a new gasket so that's that that's what it looks like when you remove it but this is already clean this is a clean surface that's basically where it's gonna go same thing same way you took it off just like that you will need to seal it because it doesn't have like a groove for a gasket 
I don't know why they didn't just add that, just like they did on the OEM, but I don't know. I don't know why they didn't do that. So for a gasket, um, Honda Bond. So I'm gonna clean the surface on here with like a blade and then um, add some Honda Bond on this surface since it's a lot cleaner. And then we'll just seal it and then that's it. Throw the bolts on there. So I got it as clean as I can get it. Basically, I just took a blade, went like that. Nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and put some Honda Bond on here. Damn, this shit's hard to squeeze out. <laughs> So something like that, I guess. Let's see if we could do this in one shot here. Without messing us up. I think we got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the screws on there. All right, so we're past that. We just have to cap this off and cap this off. Everything's all good. So if we compare both of them, you guys can probably see the difference. So we got this on, that on, TPS is on. Now, one other thing I wanted to do was if you guys are having like a sticking problem or something with the k throttle um, body, if you guys are having like rev hang and stuff like that, where you have to like mess around with the gas pedal to like get it to drop down to like normal idle and stuff where it's getting stuck or whatever. I've had that shit happen with my RSX. I had the 72 billet one from k and it's like notorious for that. But um, I ended up fixing it. Um, it still happens like randomly. Um, I did hear that some people seeing like the inside barrel or like this little um, butterfly flap thing, wherever you see it rubbing, you go ahead and sand it, like wet sand it just a little bit and it'll clear that. Um, also what you can do, which fixed mine like drastically, I fixed it a lot, was um, this screw right here. This one's your idle, you don't really need to mess with that, but this one here, you take this out and then this thing will pop out and you can do adjustments there. So I really wanna show you guys, you know what? We'll go ahead and do that and then um, that'll be it for this video. So let's do adjustments on here and then I'll show you guys. As far as like Allen keys is concerned, I believe um, k likes to go metric with everything. 3.0, let's try that one. Yep, that's the one guys. Again, when you guys tighten this again, do not over tighten this thing, will strip and then you're screwed. All right, so I'm going to try and explain this k sticking problem real quick as best as I can. So once you loosen, where is it? Once you take this one out, right? You take that bolt out wherever I put it, that thing right there. This is going to come off, right? Pay attention to the way you take it off because um, it's going to like come apart. It's a spring and then it's got this little thing at the end, right? So it's going to come apart like that, right? Set this down. Pay attention to where... Um, it, it was already set. So this has like a bunch of notches. It has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. It's got like eight, right? It was on this one right there. Let's see if I could film this. It was on that one. You're going to have to like move this around and play around with it. So I think the further you move it clockwise, the tighter it'll get. So if we put it here, right? It's gonna go back on like this, right? So that isn't that tight right there. So you take it back off, right? Move it over a couple spots. Move it over like, I don't know, three more spots on here. And you're gonna have to play around with it, figure out uh, what works best for you. The more the spring is like compressed or like spun, like the tighter it's gonna be. Um, right now, you see how tight it is? You could even go tighter than that. So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna move it a couple more spots. So that's it, I got mine done. There's the bolt back in. That's it, man. I think we're good. Give you guys a little close up of my throttle body and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I, wish, I wish it came in a little better condition, but I think it just needs some cleaning, honestly. So. I might just um, scrub it down. I'm not going to spray it with water or anything because I don't want to mess anything up. But um, that's, that's probably what I'm going to do. I got some wire brushes and stuff, plastic brushes like this. So I might just end up using that. I think that's a pretty good video to solve some people's uh, sticking problems or if they're having problems with their throttle response. I think it's a pretty good video. 
just for people that are having problems with their throttle body so we're gonna move on i think i'm pretty happy with this and uh, how it came out if you guys found this helpful at all make sure you guys subscribe uh, we are gonna continue the em2 build and um just keep going on that so i try and bring here like the parts that i could do from home just so i'm not over there 24 7 it's nice to just sit at home and do stuff like this instead of just being at the garage and stuff so if you guys like this type of content make sure you guys subscribe if you're new here subscribe set up your bell notifications if you haven't um other than that everyone be safe take care see you on the next one